Welcome to this very special holiday skit here on Bulls, Beers, and Brawls. Big B here with you. Hope you're doing well out there, fight fans. Twas the night before Christmas, MMA edition, coming at you. This is stuff you're only going to find on Bulls, Beers, and Brawls. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not an athlete was training, not even Mighty Mouse. The four-ounce gloves were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that Uncle Dana soon would be there. The amateurs were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of championship belts danced in their heads. Mama in her nighty, in eye and assless chaps, <laughs> had just hit the bong before a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I had to pull out to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like McGregor, chasing after Poirier forever and ever. The moon on Izzy's breast of the new-fallen snow gave luster of a pay-per-view on the canvas below. And what to my bloodshot eyes did appear? But a miniature octagon and eight fighters near with a bald driver, lively and quick. I knew in a moment it must be that dick. More rapid than Habib, his curses they came, and he whistled and pouted and called them by name. Now Diaz, now Stipe, now Jorge and Till. On Nunez, on Usman, on Connor and Cyril. Back against the cage, time to climb the wall. Now fight away, fight away, fight away all. As leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when punches meet with your face, boom, stars in the sky. So up to the housetop, the fighters, they flew with a sleigh full of cocaine and that bald prick too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof, the punching and kicking of each little hoof. As I inhaled some weed and was turning around, down the chimney came Dana, making no sound. He was dressed all in Nike from head to his foot, his clothes a tad tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of contracts he had flung on his back, and he looked at his howler head before scratching his sack. His eyes, how they twinkled like when he met Holly Berry. His cheeks were like roses. His cigar had a cherry. His mouth drawn up like a bow, scratching his chin in search of a pro. The stump of a cigar he held in his teeth. And he was pinching his nipples, just like mean Keith. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed if you mentioned Chaz Skelly. He was chubby but taut, a jolly, a right jolly elf. And I laughed when I saw him. Hell, I was nervous myself. A wink from Jessica I and a shot of Howler Head soon let me know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word and went right to work drew up some contracts, then turned with a twerk. Then putting his finger inside of his nose and giving a nod to the champ thug rose, he sprang to his limos, to his bros gave a whistle as they flew down the road like a fucking missile. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, happy Christmas to all, and to all a good fight. <clears throat> Thanks for joining me, for hearing my silly little story. Hey, I hope it made you laugh. If it did, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe because I do cover some serious shit. As well as have some fun. Happy holidays to everybody. I don't care what you celebrate. Christmas, Hanukkah, everything in between. Happy holidays. Hope you and your family are safe and uh, you know what, have a good time, have some drinks, have some hoots.
relax, hey? It's the holidays. <laughs> Till next time, everybody. Take care and peace.